Reverend Tuckman is on his way. He, his horse got a little tired, so he should be here. General, the inhabitants of Chelsea will detain you but for a moment to express the joy and gratitude with which your presence inspires them. We thank you for your sacrifices in our cause and we thank God who made you to be an instrument of so much good for us. Your visit to our country will give new strengths to the institutions for which under God we are essentially indebted to your services. Its influence will be felt through the civilized world and it will advance the cause of human liberty and happiness. Yours, sir, is a triumph of moral and of Christian feeling. History has but one page on which it has recorded a similar triumph. And that is the page on which is inscribed the progress of Washington through our states. May God, who made you so early in your life to be a distinguished benefactor of our nation, and who has preserved you to see the matured fruit of your toils in the establishment here of the freest institutions on earth, 
have you in his holy keeping and crown you with the choicest blessings. And when your course of virtue and glory shall be finished here, may your reward be made perfect and eternal.
referring to his military family, the officers under his command, who serves at his uh, aide de camp in headquarters. But for a moment, I believe it was His Excellency's intention to adopt me as his son, <laughs> right then and there. <laughs> what other choice did I have? I readily accepted. In time, General Washington did indeed become as much a father to me as I have ever known. And the men who fought and the many men who died, my brothers in arms, in the service of our great and glorious cause, I consider very much to be my family as well. The approbation of the American people for my conduct in your fight for independence and in the vicissitudes of the later European revolutions is, is for me the, the greatest possible reward I could ever hope to achieve. Well may I stand firm and proud when in their name, in, in your names, I can be said to have remained ever faithful to those principles of liberty, equality, true social order, and as it has been since my earliest youth, so it shall continue to be until my latest breath. Mes amis, je vous souhaite tous et toutes une très agréable continuation de votre journée. I wish you all a very pleasant continuation of your day, and I thank you from the bottom of my profoundly touched heart for your hospitality. Merci beaucoup. Vive la magie. Vive la magie.